Hi, uh, this is going to be a video about how to uh, create a live USB drive uh, holding Gparted and to fix a corrupted flash drive um, using the said uh, Linux distribution. So what you're going to want to do is first mount the ISO uh, using whatever your favorite um, ISO mounting tool that you wish to use. For me, I use Daemon Tools. Uh, once you mounted it, what you're going to want to do is just copy those files over to a flash drive. So here I've got one, so I'm just going to copy it over there. And there. Okay, next you're going to want to go to Utils, Win32, and you're going to want to right click Make Boot, make boot and Run as an Admin. Alright, it should pop up this screen here. Uh, just follow its instructions. Sorry about that. I don't know what just happened, but it should be okay. All right, and there we go. You should get a congratulations. You can ignore the first uh, message up there. Don't worry about that. All right, just close that, and the flash drive should be ready to be uh, bootable. Now, I know there's other methods to create a bootable USB drive using like other things like UNet Bootin or whatever, um, or Tux Boot. Uh, from my experience, whenever I tried using those, I always get the uh, boot manager error or something like that uh, whenever I tried to actually uh, do a cold boot into it uh, so I found this method works the is the most simplest way to just go about it so I'm just gonna check that and I have a laptop here that I am going to boot that I'm going to uh, install or just turn the live uh, use the live CD on so what I'm going to do is turn it on and you're going to want to go into your BIO settings and you're going to want to go into a setting called boot. Uh, your BIOS might look differently from mine. You're going to want to go to the boot priority and you're going to want to set the first one here, uh, the boot priority number one, to be a USB. I already did this. Uh, I'm not sure how your BIOS would work, but for mine at least, uh, it would just be to use the, uh, just the up, down, or yeah. This F5, F6, I think, uh, to just change the options here. So you're just going to want to make sure your first boot priority priority is the USB drive that you have um, <coughs> Gparted installed on. All right, so just exit. Uh, make sure you save whatever you just did and exit. And it should boot into uh, Gparted. All right, so there we go. Uh, so you're just going to want to go with the default settings. Um, unless you speak a different language or you want to tweak it however you want. Uh, this is just for uh, installing a live edition, so don't worry, you can still have Windows or whatever other operating system you currently have uh, on the computer still. It won't affect that. Uh, it's just a live distribution, so it's all just stored in the temporary storage. So none of it will be saved after you uh, reboot your computer. So I'm just going to go with all the default settings. Um, this is just for language, uh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And there we go. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take another USB drive here and I'm going to corrupt it. So I just plugged it into my desktop here and I'm going to open it up uh, and I'm going to pretend I'm going to format it. Upset while I'm formatting it, I'm going to yank it. And you should get this message here. Windows is unable to complete the format, which is perfectly fine for our purposes. So we're going to go back into the laptop here, and I'm going to plug in the USB key into the laptop. All right. Um, you probably won't see it originally here. Uh, you see I have two. I have my hard drive here, and I have the uh, original USB key, which I have the uh, Gparted installed. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Gparted uh, refresh devices and just wait a little bit. It might take a little while while it searches for the drives and it should find it right here. Here's my second drive at 14.94 gigabytes. Alright, you're going to see that there's an error. That's what the exclamation mark there is for. And it's going to have some problems. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go, you're going to want to right click, delete first, so you're going to and apply that. All right. 
Just give it a few seconds. Alright, looks like it's done. Alright, and then you're going to want to right click, press new. Um, there are a couple options here. Uh, you might want to change the file system to be uh, FAT32. That's one of the most popular um, files, uh, file settings. So, I don't know. Just change it to whatever you'd like. Um, and just hit add. And then just hit apply. And close. Alright. And you should notice that it is now in FAT32. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug the flash drive and plug it back into my desktop. And there we go. Look, working perfectly once again.